the quadratic formula. Consider the general equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. Remember that x is a variable, whereas a, b, and c are parameters with a distinct from zero. And remember that all parameters are constants, but not all constants are parameters. How do we solve this quadratic equation for x? Let's complete the square. We have this equation. When we complete the square, the first thing we do is we want the quadratic coefficient to be equal to 1. So let us divide by a. We can do this because a is different from 0. So this is this becomes x squared plus b over a times x plus c over a equals 0. We may want to subtract this constant from both sides of the equation. This is x, x squared plus bax equal to negative c over a. Now we know that to complete the square what we do is we divide the linear term by 2 and then square it. So we divide the linear term by 2 and then we square it. If we add it to one side, we must add it to the other. Now this factors as x plus b over 2a square. Now this can also be expressed as, I'll do it now, b square over 4a square. Now if we take the square root both sides of this equation, we get that x plus b over 2a is equal to plus or minus the square root of this expression. If we, if we want to have the same denominator, we multiply the first term by 4a, the, both the numerator and the denominator, and we get 4ac plus b squared. We have that x is equal to minus b over 2a plus or minus the square root. We can take the square root of the denominator and then and rearrange these terms here, b squared minus 4ax over the square root of 4a squared. Now, we have that x is equal to minus b over 2a plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4a times c over the square root of 4a squared, which is just 2a. Now, since we have the same denominator, we have that x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a which is the quadratic formula. And now you can solve any quadratic equation.